There is too much feminine energy on LinkedIn. And the little masculine energy that is left is weak and corrupted. This fact is keeping you from finding new clients on LinkedIn. Let me explain what I mean. And please allow me to be a bit philosophical and quite a bit politically incorrect. Human existence is dominated and shaped by the interplay between opposing forces, order versus chaos, day and night, summer and winter, and so on. This duality has found its way into every human culture in uncounted symbols and representations from the Christian duality between heaven and hell to the Taoist yin-yang symbol. A powerful biological manifestation of this principle is the duality between the masculine and the feminine. But what does this have to do with LinkedIn and finding new clients? I'm sure you're very familiar with the analogies between marketing and sales on one hand and dating on the other hand. There are so many ways in which romantic courtship and sales are similar that you could fill half a library with it. But let me focus on one particular parallel, namely who takes the first step. Let's look at dating first. How does the majority of romantic relationships start? Usually men have to take the first step. Whether it's approaching a girl in a bar or striking up a conversation in the supermarket, the act of approaching is a fundamentally male behavioral pattern. If you need any proof for this, just look at how different online dating is for men versus women. Women get inundated by messages from men. Men, on the other hand, are lucky if they get one response for every 20 messages sent. But not only is approaching a fundamentally male activity, it is also rejection that men need to deal with. So the exploratory thrust into the unknown, fully in the knowledge that the effort will likely result in failure, that is a male principle. And this principle, when guided by the right motivation and done with integrity, has created so much of our civilization, from scientific discoveries to the age of exploration, from the wheel to the internet. Now let's look back at courtship. In the dating process, the woman's role is that of a judge and a selector. But in order to be in a position of choice, she has to be attractive. And this is why a typical women's magazines are still, decades of feminism notwithstanding, mainly about beauty. So let's summarize. To be successful in dating, the male needs to master approaching and the female, to maximize her choices, needs to be attractive. Let's translate this now into finding new clients on LinkedIn because there is a fascinating parallel. LinkedIn offers you fundamentally two ways to find a client, inbound and outbound. Inbound is done by posting interesting content. People see what you talk about and based on that decide that you are attractive in a business sense. Outbound is done by approaching people who you find interesting. So the connection is pretty clear. Outbound is the male principle, the thrust into the unknown, risking rejection. Inbound is a female principle, being attractive to maximize the number of potential clients in order to be in a position of choice. The key to finding clients on LinkedIn is to do both, inbound and outbound. To publish interesting content and thus maximize your attractiveness, as well as to venture out into the market and risk getting rejected. But sadly, I constantly see the outbound method being denigrated on LinkedIn. You can get a lot of likes if you complain of how often and how clumsily you get approached and if you ridicule salesy people on LinkedIn. On the other hand, everyone agrees that publishing value adding content is great. Everywhere you go on LinkedIn, you will get encouraged to publish great content. And don't get me wrong, publishing content is an absolutely essential element of being successful on LinkedIn, 100%. But at the same time, doing outbound is just as essential. Approaching people, starting conversation, risking rejection, all of that is critical for success. Why? Because outbound gives you incredibly valuable information. On a one-on-one -on -one basis, people will be way more honest with you than when they're publishing their content. So to research and truly understand your market, you need to talk to prospective clients, whether that's in messages or on the phone. But so often you see the male outbound principle being stomped on publicly. And this creates a culture of fear. People become so terrified of rejection and of being the object of public scorn and ridicule that they won't even try. It's very similar to this horrible, horrible phrase, toxic masculinity, that gets boys in school punished for doing normal boy things like rough play and competing. Of course, there is an aspect of masculinity that is negative and we have to work on integrating that dark side of ourselves, just like there is a dark side in femininity. But that's not the point. The point is that with the term toxic masculinity, even good masculine behaviors, such as initiating relationships, while risking rejections get denigrated and thrown in the trash. 
I see this a lot with my clients who have been bullied into this weak, impotent, inbound-only existence on LinkedIn. And only slowly, together, we manage to uninstall this terrible mind virus that has been running on their hard drives for decades. By the way, that is not to say that the female principle is weak and impotent. I mean the exclusive reliance on it is. Just like the world would end without women, it would end without men. We just need both. I know one consultant who is not a client of mine who has over 10,000 followers on LinkedIn and publishes very good content almost every day. But does he get clients? I asked him and he hasn't gotten himself a single new client with this method. Why? Because he's terrified of being perceived as salesy. And this is what repeated bashing of the masculine outbound principle gets you. It also gets you a lack of positive role models. And what we're left with is a warped, twisted, corrupted form of masculinity in the guise of spam and automation. Sending people unsolicited sales messages is the equivalent of sending a hey, wanna have sex to a hundred women on Tinder in the hope that one will respond positively. You may be successful once, but you have created 99 small instances of misery and depression. It's the same with spam and automation. You may actually get yourself a client here and there, but you do it at the cost of creating a vast number of unhappy experiences. So what is a positive form of masculinity? What is the LinkedIn equivalent of a well-dressed, perfectly groomed man who confidently walks up to the girl at the bar and starts a conversation without gimmicks, without pickup lines, without tactics. It's just that, starting genuine conversations, no gimmicks, no hyperactivity, no fake enthusiasm, and no, I hope you've had a chance to read my message, just calm confidence, exploring, asking questions, listening, adding humor, and at some point, asking for the phone number. So if you've watched and listened to this point in the video, I would like to invite you to join my free live webinar on Wednesday this week, the 3rd of June at 5 p.m. UK time, where I will cover how to reprogram this cultural conditioning that says that outbound prospecting and selling are bad. No matter if you're a man or a woman, you need to learn the masculine principle on LinkedIn. So in the webinar, you will learn to actually enjoy this exploratory thrust into the unknown, and you will learn how to deal with rejection. Finally, you will learn how to do it all in a way that is positive, respectful, gracious, and fun for all parties involved. If you'd like to join this webinar, please leave a comment in the comment section, and I'll send you the registration link. Have a good day. Thank you.